Hey everyone and welcome to today's video. It's going to be a quick little how to slash tutorial on how I did the white hair on my Sagar Ox Sogner page, which is right here. It's kind of like a little bit of a um, Daenerys Targaryen-esque kind of look to it. So you, see, you can zoom in and you can see. And I'm going to be using polychromos pencils and one um, Posca paint pen in white to go over all the lines. So I'm going to do it um, on a different page in this book. So I figured it'd be easy to recreate it. So I'm going to try to recreate it on this one here. The only thing I'm not going to do is her braids. I think I'm going to do them as a different color of her hair or a different hair color. I'm not sure yet. So in the polychromos, you're going to need three, pe three pencils which is Ivory 103, Cold Gray 1, which is two, uh, 250, and then Cold Gray 2, which is 251. And that's the only pencils you're going to need. And then after we're done, we're going to go over every single black line with our Posca um, paint pen. This is just a white paint pen. You could probably also, if you want to use like an acrylic paint or even um, some white out, um, you just get some white out in a tube, dump some out a little tray and just kind of like very quickly do it with like a little, um, <clears throat> like maybe a little paintbrush or something like that. But, um, so yeah, let's get started anyways. So let me go ahead and zoom you in ever so slightly. There we go. Yeah. I'll probably leave it right there. So. The reason I'm doing just these three colors is because I want it to be very light and just have a very soft sh uh, shading to it. And instead of using the white, if you want it to be very pale white, I would go with the whites of the ivory. But I like kind of just the lights, the slightly kind of creamy tone that the ivory gives versus the um versus the white. If you're using Prismas, I would say use cold gray one, cold gray two, and probably the white one. Because um, with the um, Prismas is more of like a, like a creamy texture, so the, the darker colors might come further down than you would expect them to. So I would say the white would probably be better. Um, if you still want that kind of creamy esque color, I think um, in the Prismas there is a cream uh, pencil that would look exactly like the ivory. So let's start off with. We'll start off with this little segment back here. We're going to go over with the ivory very lightly over the full thing. You probably won't even be able to really see it. It's just going to slightly change the color of her hair. And then I'm going to go to shading in oops, wrong one, with the cold gray one. And I'm just going to shade every individual strand to where I want it to be. So I don't know how well this will be picking up on camera. Let me actually zoom you in for this part here. There you go. It might be a little fuzzy. I'm not sure. But you're just going to kind of go through wherever you want the lightest color to go up to. With the cold gray one. And we're going to go down further on this one. So we're going to kind of go through and go up a little higher. You can do it in sections, like say do this part here and then maybe do like that part there if you want to. But I think I'm just going to go to about the halfway point to add in that middle point to the highlight. And I'm going to kind of go around where the braid would be. So that was the cold gray. Let me just kind of wipe off any of the dust. I'm going to take the cold gray two and just kind of deepen up those areas. If you want to you can also, if you want it to be a, a slightly darker, so have like a white blonde, like I was going uh, trying to recreate with that other picture, um, you can use war the warm grays and the polys or the prismas. And if you want it more as like a grayish. Uh, hair color for maybe like an elderly picture or elderly person in a picture. You can use the warm gray, which be a little more like, uh, as it says, a warmer color tone to your hair, the uh, hair in the picture. 
but since I was trying to go for the Daenerys look in our picture, I just went with the lightest colors. The only thing that I do regret with that last picture was doing the eyebrows in the white. I wanted it to look more like the book, my Daenerys in the book. So, and I didn't remember her having brown eyebrows in the book. So I just went with the white. Okay, dust that off. I'm gonna go back in now with the cold gray one. Kind of just pull that colors together ever so slightly. And pull them down and work them together. Now we're going to take the ivory and just do that final layer. And the nice thing about this, you might have a little bit of trouble with the prismas doing your, um, your Posca, um, on it. Simply because, I probably zoomed in, you couldn't really see that bottom part I did down there, but I did the same thing up top, so it didn't really matter. Um, I found that Posca going over Prisma, because it's a wax base, will absorb the color underneath of it and become that color, where if you put it on top of the, uh, the polys, it stays white. It doesn't absorb the color. Okay. So there you go. There is the hair color, exactly how it looks like that. If you would just want a gray, you can leave it as that. But now I'm gonna take my Posca. Get nice and shook up. Make sure it's flowing nicely. It's not yet. I have to get some. I have to get a little eyedropper because you can take the this part of it out, the little tip of it off. You can take that out and then refill it up. So, whoop! Just had a huge paint blob on the desk, but it's flowing nicely now. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take the Posca and I'm gonna go over the black lines. Try and move. You might hear me talking slightly different because I'm right behind the camera so I can see the lines perfectly. Last time I did this, I was like sliding the book all around. I need to keep it nice and straight. And if you go like over her jawline here, um, you just take a nice black fine liner after you're done and re-go over those lines with the black. Make sure you're done with the pencil work first because you might accidentally smudge the um, fine liner. And you just go over it then afterwards with the black fine liner and it will redefine the line. Just keep going nice and slow. Make sure you get it nice and covered. But like I said, with the Prismas, you will kind of find that it absorbs the color. So if your lines start coming out a little grayish looking instead of pure white, that is why. But I found with the polys that um, Posca doesn't absorb the colors. Go over this final one here. And there. That's what we're going to do on the whole picture. So you can kind of see, zoom me out just a little bit, the difference from just this, the normal hair from the book, to this right there. And it adds that nice kind of very soft look to it where you if you go up like this, it kind of turns pure white. You go down like that, it kind of looks grayish. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom through the rest. I'm gonna speed it all up and then I'll show you the finished product.
And we are done. So I have to come back in and kind of touch up some of the areas because you can see some of the black still shining through. That's just because my pasta is starting to, it's still nice and juicy, but it's getting to the point where you have to kind of like shake it up really good and then do it and then shake it up really good after a few strands. So I couldn't really sit there and sit there because I probably would have took me about another 30 minutes to go back over everything. So I'm gonna let this fully dry for probably 24 hours and then I'll go over it in my own spare time. But you get what the, it looks like right there. So you get that nice kind of almost translucent kind of effect to the hair almost because you don't see the black lines to it. Yes, that is my Daenerys Targaryen inspired white hair. Um, this would also work really good for maybe an elderly male or female um, coloring book picture. Um, this would also really work good for the Witcher coloring book as well because Witchers and I think the books and the video games, well, I know the video games, but the books... Um, have white hair so that would work good for that as well so that's it for today i hope you enjoyed it um i don't know like i said i don't know how it would work in the prismas just because sometimes the poscas do get diluted on top of pos or on top of prisma but with top of polys they don't absorb the color you can really see that the the posca is still white so yeah i would recommend using i doing this with the posca or an oil-based um coloring pencils versus a wax base because the wax the the poscas just absorb the color of the let me see if i can show you really quickly without because it's a little wet i did it in the front here let's see if i can show you is there any you can see like right in here I don't know how it'll pick up on camera, but it kind of sort of took a little bit of the blue tone. It's like kind of whitish on camera, so it's not really the best uh, representation of it, but it kind of I, I has a bluish tint to it in person. So that's it for today. I hope you all enjoyed this video and found it helpful. And until next time, I hope you're all an amazing day and happy coloring.